Hey guys, it's Jacob, and this is part two. Oh crap, is it the piranha plant from Crash Bandicoot 2? But, um, so we're gonna go do some stuff now. Because that first episode was just like the opening and the tutorial and stuff. So now we're actually gonna play. God, I love this music. Not this part of the music, but, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the beach. No, really, Daxter? I didn't know that. But uh, we're gonna go to the beach and get some three, maybe four power cells. So yeah. And uh, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, Daxter is the only one that talks. Jack is mute. And he talks in the second game and the third game. And I'm kind of curious, because I've never beaten any of them, I'm curious, how does he start talking? Just something that I never found out, I'm curious to find out. Like I said before in my Tony Hawk, um, I love these games, but I never beat them, so now's my chance. And I keep saying that for some reason, sorry. Alright. Oh, I can't wait to grab a power cell, but no. That pelican just snagged a power cell. Let's go kick some big bird butt. Okay. <laughs> so now it's a race. Whoever gets to that thing first. Yeah! If this was my first time, I would have gotten a trophy right here called Gimme That. So, yep. Alright. Now we're gonna do what the guys told us to do. Yay! Well, I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, well. but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's this one whenever you get a power cell they always do some type of dance and there's this one that I every time I see it just makes me laugh and there's also one that every time I see it, I just go oh so yeah How do I do that? Whatever. Oh. Nice. 
Oh, Baxter's doing an air guitar. <laughs> We scrounged enough orbs to trade for a power cell. That's nice. Let's get back and make the switch already. Okay, wait a minute. There's still another power cell. That I just remembered. The reason I'm getting these so fast is because, you know, I just played this friggin' thing yesterday. Get off. Oh my! I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your power. Sweet. <laughs> Same one. Alright, we're almost halfway there. I need 20 to get to the next uh, area. Which is where I was when I quit. And since we're already at 9... I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I will offer you a power set in return. Oh, if there's a power cell, I'll do anything. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, Wait, is that guy's Jack's uncle? That we agreed huh. on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, Tata, bye bye. <laughs> it's that one. That's the one that always makes me laugh. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, so there's this lazy freaking farmer who needs you to cage up his yaks. Instead, I mean, not instead, in, in exchange for a power cell. Go. Oh, you fatty. 
No, no. I remember back on PS2, I would always have trouble with these things. But they're really not that hard to get in the pen. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. All right, then. Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. So, with that, I think I'll end part two right here. So, see you guys in part three, guys. See you guys. I just said guys twice, but whatever. Bye.